I'm here at the Ventures Equipment booth at World of Concrete 2022. Behind me is their Silo Mixer Pump Solution for specialty concrete mixes for a range of concrete because it has a lot of variables that you can adjust. It works well with self-leveling concrete or 3D printed concrete with aggregates up to 3 eighths of an inch. Thank you and welcome to the World of Concrete 2022. My name is Antonio Johnson with Ventures Equipment. I'm here to introduce Ventures Equipment new piece of equipment, our silos and our electric unit. Our electric unit is a three phase 220 volt pumping equipment that can pump different types of material from epoxy grouts to uh, up to 3 eighths aggregate. Wow, I didn't realize it was 220. A lot of the systems need 440. Uh, that's a, kind of a big advantage to not require a 440 generator. Now we can use uh, the 440 if needed. We also have the gas and diesel powered units that pretty much look the same. You have um, trailer mounted units for those people that have to be mobile, we do have the trailer mounted units. This here is a skid mounted unit, and then we also offer our hydraulic driven unit that you can hook up to any type of skid steer. Nice, and the rotor stator. That rotor and stator is marked to pump up to uh, 3 8 aggregate. It's adjustable, so if you need to adjust your, uh, your pressure, you can. It has the, the bolts on the front of it to where you can back it out to relieve some of the pressure, or you can tighten it up. And how much material can you run through that rotor stator? This machine is designed to pump up to 18 yards an hour. And the sites I've been on, they run through rotor stator after maybe 10, 20 yards of concrete. Uh, how many yards can you put through this one before it busts? It depends on the material. If you uh, if you like to call, you can call or you can email me. My email is Tony T O N Y at VenturesEQ.com. My cell phone number is 817-903-9863. Thank you. And if they give you a call, what do they do? They tell you about what they need and you if you call and you have uh, issues with your, your equipment or different types of material, you call and we will assist you the best way we can and we'll help you get the job done. Whenever I look at a 3D printed construction setup, I look at the rotor stator. That's this piece and it wears down over time and needs to be replaced. This massive rotor stator is the biggest I've seen. This benefits the project because you don't need to run it as quickly and because there's lower RPMs, the system lasts longer and you're able to put more yards of concrete through it, a lot more yards. So by not needing to adjust this piece as much, you increase the efficiency of the system and decrease your downtime. This is an adjustable rotor stator so you'll be able to fine-tune the pressure within the system. Tyler Olson with Ventures Equipment. I've been here for quite a while, know a lot of the uh, equipment front and back. Um, the system behind me is what we've tailored to 3D printing industry. Mixer and the pump here are uh, connected in a manner that the pump has a level sensor on it so the mixer knows when to turn on and off. That's the components here uh, and then we can also interface our pump with different printers in the industry, so that way it just keeps the print head itself full of material if you have your own hopper. That is a 20 horsepower, variable speed, electric motor, or 17 kW, it's a 220 volt, three phase, uh, variable speed, like I said, uses a variable frequency drive inside, uh, so very clean power. Um, you need a, uh, what we recommend for folks that are on site that don't have grid power, you can use a 25 kW, or sometimes a little bit larger towable generator. The silo here has a 6,000 pound capacity. Again, you know, it is a uh, continuous mixer, you know, so you only mix what you need. The silo itself is somewhat water resistant. We don't recommend leaving material in for extended periods of time, so like overnight. Ideally, you'd like to fill it up in the morning and as you need it, and then by the end of the shift, the silo is empty. It is adjustable height, so if you have uneven ground, you can tailor it to that, or if you have a little bit different equipment, uh, you, we can adjust accordingly. So the material is loaded in the top of the silo via a forklift out of a super sack, 3,000 pound super sack or smaller, um, and then it, it goes through or into the silo. We do have a, a vibrator on the side to help convey the material. We also have an option for air fluffing system. And it goes into the continuous mixer here. You adjust your water based on the material needs. Uh, it has an onboard pump, so that way everything stays consistent has a, a built-in pressure switch, so if you do lose water pressure, it will shut down and you don't get dry material introduced into your wet material at the pump. Um, 
once the material is in the silo, it's fed into the continuous mixer. And then through this auger here, that's where the water is introduced, the material is mixed. Discharges here directly into the pump. One thing that's nice is a system like this, you only mix what you need. You don't have any excess material loss. And then again, this is the level sensor to turn the mixer on and off based on the hopper level uh, or the, the fill level of the hopper here. One of the biggest benefits of a continuous mixer is you only need to mix what you need to pump at the time. You know, what, uh, one downside of a batch mixer, you have to make one large batch. You're not able to mix only a little bit. Most batch mixers have a minimum and a maximum volume. And if you don't meet the minimum, you're not gonna get a good mix. Where with something like this, you only mix up as much as you need because all your mixing action is done right here in the mix chamber. So you can tailor it to how much or how little material is needed at the time. So the mixer in and of itself is very simple, but we've incorporated a level sensor to the hopper, which is adjustable. You can raise, you can raise or lower this sensor based on how much material you want in here at any time, which again helps with minimizing the waste. With the incorporation of our sensor system, you can still use it like a regular mixer and you don't need the sensors. It has a manual mode or it has an automatic mode. Cool. I understand much better now that you showed me that lifting that thing up. Yep, yeah, so this is, you can adjust it if you want to keep that hopper full, 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 put it all the way up the top. If you want to keep it to where you minimize waste, you know, because a lot of these materials we've learned are rapid setting, so you have little work time and you want to keep it as fluid as possible, keep it moving. Uh, can we go into a little more detail on the rotor stator? I believe the stator is $900 and the rotor is an additional $900. This is our 2L8 rotor stator. Uh, it has an adjustable stator here. So as, it, as the stator rubber starts wearing out, you can retighten it and get your, your peak pumping pressures. Um, with that being said, the rotor and the stator, you can get two stators per one rotor. Uh, the cost of this system right here is $900 per part. So your rotor is 900 and your stator is 900. So as, like I mentioned, as your stator wears out, you can replace that for every one rotor. And we would highly recommend for anybody using this system like this, you keep a spare set on the shelf. It's because this is gonna be your main wear item and it's very costly to overnight. <laughs> so if you just have it on standby, this can be swapped out in a matter of half an hour and you're back up in full, full pumping. Some of the other industries or applications that this system could be used for would be your self-leveling, high volume self-leveling, uh, underlayments, overlayment, masonry grouts, uh, mortars, repair mortars, patching. One of the benefits of a system like this, you're not at the dispense or at the disposal of a uh, transit mixer. You know, you control how much and when you mix on site. You just have to have the material there. If you uh, if you like to call, you can call or you can email me. My email is Tony T O N Y at VenturesEQ.com. My cell phone number is eight one seven nine zero three nine eight six three. Thank you.